we're getting a new look into crowded facilities where the government is holding near record numbers of migrant children. The Biden administration let journalists into one of those facilities for the first time after weeks of denying access, citing COVID concerns. But what those journalists saw was quite different from images of the facilities the press hasn't been allowed to see. Now Vice President Kamala Harris is stepping into a new role, taking the lead on the immigration crisis for the White House. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is at the border in Texas with more. This morning, with a near record number of children in custody at the border, the White House finally allowing a press camera inside the facilities where they are being housed. The access limited. The reporter not allowed to speak to any of the 766 teenage boys sheltering inside. And here are the images. Children spotted playing soccer, piles of clothes waiting for migrants when they enter. An empty classroom, medical clinics, and space set aside for the 108 who tested positive for COVID-19 when they arrived. But this facility in Carrizo Springs, Texas, is far different from these images that emerged days earlier. Hundreds of miles away in Donna, Texas, where press are not allowed in. Kids packed closely together, sleeping on mats with foil blankets separated by plastic. In this video from Customs and Border Protection, nearly 4,000 here. The facility only meant to hold 250. More than 16,000 migrant children are in custody, crossing the border without a parent or guardian. And with pressure growing on the Biden administration, the president tapping Vice President Kamala Harris to take the lead. I think the best thing to do is to put someone who when he or she speaks, they don't have to wonder about, is that where the president is? When she speaks, she speaks for me. So, Diane, Vice President Kamala Harris saying that she knows this is not going to be easy, but she is going to be faced with a significant challenge of trying to find a long term solution to address what we are seeing here at the border, which in the short term, Diane, is only expected to get worse. And Rachel, I know you're just a mile away from the border facility that reporters had access to yesterday. What are you expecting to do there today? Yeah, well, you know, so it's interesting. President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris said that they do plan to visit the border at some point. Still no date set. But today you have a massive group, 18 Republican senators coming down here to the border to see firsthand what we are seeing here on the ground. That facility that press was allowed into just one camera right behind me. It's not even filled up to capacity here. Every single child in here has a bed to sleep in. What the senators are going to see tomorrow is is vastly different. They're going to go inside of that Donna facility that is overcrowded. You have kids packed closely together. That is where our cameras are not allowed in. But tonight we will be along with those senators, 18 of them, as they take a midnight tour alongside the border. And the border crisis is likely to be a big topic at President Biden's first official press conference of his presidency today. I expect he'll be pressed on those contrasting images of the facility the press was allowed to see versus the images that have come out of the ones that we can't see. What else do you expect um, to hit on at that press conference? Yeah, really no shortage of topics to press the president on today. You have gun violence in this country. You have a pandemic that's disproportionately affecting communities of color. And you also have the situation here at the border, which, again, President Joe Biden has not seen firsthand with his own two eyes. And the president is also holding this press conference much later than any of his predecessors. 64 days into his presidency, finally going to be taking some questions directly from the press today, Diane. All right, Rachel Scott, thanks for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.